You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to have some fun and do something I haven't done since Godzilla 2014. And that's a how I would do it video. The difference between this and a plot speculation is that with the plot speculation, I essentially try to guess the plot with the very little information given and of course put in my own creative flavor here and there. With a how I would do it video, I go through everything from marketing to trailers to telling you how I would make the movie. I don't go into details as much as I do with the plot speculation, I just kind of jump from scene to scene and usually just focus on the monsters and include story elements and details that surround them. So without any further ado, let's get started and we're going to begin with the marketing. I would begin my marketing two weeks after the release of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Strictly online viral marketing. I would first create a Twitter account that would be called The Awakening. This account would post highlights of the different titans across the world from the perspective of people filming them on phones and DSLR cameras, so basically live action footage that people post to this Twitter account. I would follow that up with a dedicated website for titans that includes this footage but also has an exclusive web series of an expedition to Skull Island. Through the footage of the expedition, I would show silhouettes of Kong, never actually being able to see him entirely, but you would hear him and get an idea of just how big he might be. I would never show a head to toe silhouette. The web series would be done one episode a month, with the last one ending with the camera being lost and these characters' fate unknown. First trailer would drop in September of 2019. I would make it slow with ominous music, showing characters saying their lines and in between each line would be a text with one word that would eventually end with the line, what is a king to a god? A moment of complete silence and darkness and the next scene drops with a bang as we see Godzilla, a not so far aerial shot of him, shooting his atomic breath upon a city. And once that is done, we see Godzilla look into the distance and snarl as we hear Kong's roar and only see a silhouette in the distant smoke. Then the movie title. That would be my only trailer and the rest of the marketing leading up to the movie would be viral as well as the web series. The opening credits of the movie flash back to the moment Ghidorah does his mass awakening call. After that particular scene on the mountain, we continue the credits and get things from Kong's perspective. This is a flashback we have never seen. We see Kong fighting droves of skull crawlers trying to leave the island. The only trouble he has is actually catching them all. Again, this scene is shot by showing certain parts of Kong to give an idea of his size but never showing everything. This footage is shot by the web series crew, footage never released on the site. An example of what we would be seeing is like a skull crawler running away and a big gorilla hand grabbing it, then cut away. We then open the movie with scientists harvesting a titan body. We learn that the government has been killing titans and that the remaining ones have disappeared into the hollow earth where man cannot find them. The titans use the hollow earth to make their way to Skull Island as a means to escape. Governments are searching for Godzilla as he has become their number one target for termination. After the Boston incident, the UN decided that titans and man cannot coexist. They believe destroying Godzilla would cause the Titans to wander around aimlessly without guidance and make them easy targets to pick off. Godzilla finally emerges from the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of San Diego. He begins making his way towards the city, not meeting resistance just yet as he was not being tracked. Many of the government's military lost him as he traveled through the hollow earth to escape their pursuit. He slowly makes his way into the city as people take elevated positions on the roofs and many people on the ground begin to film Godzilla from a distance. People at this point are not afraid of titans as they once were, and social media footage of titans generate billions of views. Godzilla stops in the city and begins looking around at the people. 
both on the roofs and on the ground. He then roars to the sky, and as he does that, we get an aerial shot going down to his face, looking up, and his eyes begin to light up blue as we hear the ominous sound of his atomic breath heating up, as his dorsal plates begin to light. We then see shots of people going from smiling to a terrified look and people on the ground beginning to run. And as the ominous sound of Godzilla's plates lighting up hit the peak, he thrusts his head down and sprays his atomic breath around the area in front of him in an arc from left to right. Close-up shots of people being incinerated and people falling from buildings as he hits the base of those buildings causing them to collapse. That concludes part one of this miniseries. I hope you enjoyed it. The next part will be shared during this Friday's live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you there. And until next time, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy.